What is up everybody, Video Addict here, and I've got Barrel and Blade Tactical Outfitters. Some little uh, flag here I received from Cami, and with it she sent me a bunch of goodies a lot of take care of me goodies and I don't know what she did I think that she sent something or she jinxed me with the vitamin C energy 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 C or whatever I had to take some of this today because I'm getting sick my throat hurts my head hurts I'm getting stuffy so, number three on the to-do list is to disinfect all future boxes from Cami. Just, just saying. <laughs> she juiced me. I was fine. I was fine until I got the freaking awesome flag. Alright. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, keep in mind, if you're interested in this box, check out the description below. You can see all the... Uh, information on how to go to their website and sign up and uh, use my discount code save yourself some cash so today we're gonna use the Manus knives little gearhead uh, still just love this knife All right, super excited first of the month oh my god my head hurts so bad <sighs> power through power through power through and you know, guys, make sure, go ahead and click the subscribe button. The little minion over here in the bottom corner, uh, there should be one there. Some people said that it's not there in certain videos. I don't, I don't know why it's there in a lot of them. Is there is not there in some others? I have no idea why that is. But you can click on that, and it'll take you to my page, and you can subscribe and uh, all that good stuff. But make sure you subscribe. All right. It hurts. It feels like I got needles stabbing in the back of my eyeball. All right. Over to the back is what you're going to see. Woo! I'm about to stop in here. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. Wow. It looks like there's a lot of little items in here. So, you know. I am level two. Uh... Outdoor survival is this month's operation. Here is your card. Having the gear needed to survive outdoors is critical. This month we are happy to bring you some awesome gear to supplement your outdoor kit. Whether you add these items to a bug out bag, get home bag, campaign, camping bag, or use them in a lightweight molly pouch, they can all help you survive and thrive. All right, cool. What we got here on top looks like a wazoo uh, bandage, ban bandana, <laughs> bandage. Uh, the wazoo bandana foraging field reference. Uh, this is a cool little useful item. All right, has a little. I don't know where that comes from. It's probably goes to something else in there. But right here gives you a bunch of helpful information on all the different stuff you can forage when you're out in the wilderness in the outdoors so information and it's a bandana you can wipe your sweat away and all that fun stuff next up is going to be the uco original candle lantern all right i've gotten something similar to this but this thing feels way more heavy duty oh there you go actually really heavy duty and inside you have a pretty large candle okay it's on a spring so that's a pretty good candle there pretty good size and this little plate here on the top will snuff it out whenever you're done with it but it is still open so you can you know this is actually really good 
I like this. I mean, that's heavy duty. That's like not like a cheapo one that I've received before. <laughs> God almighty. Oh. Heaven above. Oh. Oh. I can feel myself getting sicker as I sit here. Alright, you actually get refill candles. You get three extra candles here. Very cool. They're giving that candle lantern $20 and $5 on the refills. I think they put something in here wrong because it says the UCO original candle lantern, $20. And it says these small lightweight water filtration systems can filter up to 20 gallons of water. Uh, I don't think that's a water filtration system. I'm just saying. I don't think it is. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Everything I read in the box, nothing says nothing about filtering water. Now we got another item from Wazoo. A Viking whetstone pendant. I think I've received a Viking whetstone before. It's pretty cool. I know you can use it for sharpening knives and whatnot. You can wear it around your neck. Yeah, it's a way for sharpening knives. Uh, just pretty cool. And it look, it's a pretty cool looking little pendant. I like it. There's the whetstone part. It's pretty nifty. It's different. It's not very tactical, but it's, it's kind of cool. All right, next up is going to be the UST wire saw. I've got probably 100 of these. <laughs> Maybe not 100. I got probably 20 at least. Uh, it's just a little wire saw uh, with two little key rings on each end, and you just kind of put it over a branch, of small branch of wood, and you just go back and forth, and it pretty much just cuts through it. Um, you're not gonna to want to use it on anything big, but you know, in a bind, it can cut you off some limbs, give you something to burn, something, I guess. Next up is the emergency zone reflective blanket. It's right here. This is a compact sheet, reflects and retains body heat. So it's an emergency blanket. Little item, three dollars, two dollars. So, definitely, in a, in a pinch, definitely want to have that. Next up is going to be Rothko Campers Camper Mirror. Little camping mirror for, you know, basic stuff. You can kind of shave with it when you're out there if you want to. Use it for signaling. Signal, signal. There you go. Uh -huh. Little $3 item. From Wazoo, designed for everyday wear, engineered for survival, uh, geared to wear every day, everywhere, be prepared for any adventure, anytime. 20% off your next order, uh, use code anywhere at wazoosurvivalgear.com. Wazoo does have some cool stuff. I'll scan this too. You can put it right here. Next up from Condor, it's the Roll Up Dump Pouch. I thought I was getting a knife at first when I first saw Condor. I was like, knife! Okay. So here you go. You just open this up. Bam. You get you some Molly attachments here, or just belt attachments. And you got your little dump pouch. You just put all this stuff in here and then just attach it to some Molly. But these things are very useful. They're definitely useful whenever you're out doing, uh, like, when we're setting up stands and stuff for hunting season. You can do this and just run your belt through it. And then you can drop, like, screws or put stuff, like, whenever we're climbing up into the stands, we can keep our little, uh, little ratchet-style straps, pull straps in here for attaching ladder stands, you know, ladders to the tree and all that. Uh, very just very useful and condor you know it's probably gonna be good quality so definitely like that all right they're giving that a 14 dollars value i think that's fair last thing in the box is a 90 dollar item wow 
Wow. Ninety dollars. Hey, don't eat that. This is from Mora Knife, and this is uh the Bushcraft Survival Knife. So this ain't your everyday Mora knife. I love Mora knives. They're excellent knives. Every one I've ever gotten has been excellent. A bunch of little stuff in here. Ooh. You can already tell it's heavier. Alright. From a little mystery spot. It it <laughs> It's sharp. It's a Mora knife. They come razor sharp. It's got a really rubberized grip on it. It's got some like makeshift jimping right here. Just some little raised section on the rubber part of the grip. Uh, love that it's all black. It's really, really cool. It's wild because a lot of Mora knives, if you ever look, the back spline here is not finished. You know, there's a reason why they're cheaper knives is because they don't put all the finishing touch stuff on them. But this here is extremely finished. I mean, it's it's nice, the spline is finished, it's not all just jaggly, whatever. Uh, it's very nice, man. Here you're gonna have your ferrule rod for using that 90 degree spine and your case is going to have everything you need uh, you got your this isn't a belt clip this is just a belt loop like you can put your belt through it right there it's not so easy to get them off though <laughs> you gotta have something to push down in there uh, you also have just a belt clip that will also push up in there and then just snap into place. So you got belt clip and one that will basically be a loop. Belt clip's probably more for me. So I'm gonna leave it on there. You got a little holding spot right here for your uh, first M rod, right? And the case has a little built-in way there to kind of hold that into place. So you kind of gotta like pull it away from it to get it out. So it ain't just gonna like slide out and then you have a little sharpening stone here uh, doesn't quite feel fine maybe a little bit more than fine an integrated fire starter and diamond sharpener that's a pretty freaking pimp knife I don't I don't know what it is that takes it from a $10 more knife to a $100 more knife or $90 more knife but that's crazy the bushcraft survival black High carbon steel, 4.3 inches uh, blade, 9.1 inch overall, uh, 0.13 thickness, and 8.1 ounces in weight. You can feel the difference between it and a normal Mora knife, but $90. Dollars. I will definitely like this. I, I, I actually... I've been wanting a one of the higher end Moras anyway, so that's actually pretty cool. Very cool. High dollar Mora, huh? So yeah, I mean you're looking at about $175 in value. Uh, you know, it is a lot of small items. This, you know, I don't know much about it. You know, as far as like, is somebody that's really into mores are they gonna go like oh my god i can't believe that we got this knife uh to me i've never seen i've seen a couple of 30 to 40 dollar mores but i've never seen a 90 dollar mora so i'm curious about that but with the 90 dollars being good you got a hell of a deal i love the little condor bag i love that you can just roll it up and be put away and just keep it on you know some molly or put on your belt whatever very very cool item i like that uh you can use it for foraging and stuff like that if you're out there and, you know use your little bandana make sure you get something that's not going to kill you like that kid in that movie uh the little lanterns are cool uh maybe if they were like insect repellent that'd be nice 
but it says that they take condensation out of your tents so that could be a good thing the whetstone is a little pricey at thirty dollars you know uh, I don't know nothing about Viking. I think I've gotten one before, and I I still don't think I've ever used it. But um, it, it just thirty dollars for a little whetstone pendant, you know. I don't know, but everything else. I mean, it's all useful. You know, you can find ways to use it. Signal and mirror. I mean, it's a lot of little stuff, but it's useful stuff. What they did is they came up with an awesome knife. And then they kind of threw you in a bunch of little stuff to make you have more items. And I can understand that. Really and truly, this right here, for me, is what I'm going to be the most excited about, is these two items. Uh, and these two items get me to about what I spent on the box. So I'm happy with that, because then I got all this stuff is just kind of extra for me. Uh, but... In the end, you know, it's all about what you think. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't in the comments below. Like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And subscribe. I'm going to go take some medicine. See y'all later.